what is going on guys so today i got a package in the mail and this package came all the way from canada and this particular company well by the name of ibn al jaburi luxury perfumes two fragrances came in the mail today let's get into it hi I noticed you're watching our content and enjoying our videos. Are you enjoying that fragrance related content? You enjoying that fragrance related content? Well, since you're enjoying the content so much, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell and stay up to date whenever we upload content. You know you want to. Inside of our package came two fragrances as well as a note card. Let's check out our note. The series says, Hi Michael, these are two products we wanted to gift you. We hope you love it like we do. These are handmade and are very fresh, so please give it time to mature. We love your review content on YouTube and keep doing great things. We at Eben Al Jaburi Perf Perfumes are a small perfume company that focuses on making the highest quality of products without cheating our customers with fillers or cutting agents, as well as providing the best prices. We are perfume enthusiasts who only sell products we are proud of and would wear on ourselves. Simply the best. Thank you. Really nice design on the card too. They went to Hallmark. I guess we have Marklot Blue. See here you got the twist cap that comes up and you have like the little dabber applicator here. Twist that up and you can dab it on. And this one, Abu Alamin Atar. So first we'll check out Abu Alamin. Checking this out here. Oh man, that smells great. What I catch, let me see here. This almost smells like a, a oud rose kind of a fragrance. Mm. It smells like a really soft and creamy oud rose scent. <clears throat> There's something soft and sweet in this that, mel that smells like it could be like a a pear or something like that. Mm. It reminds me of a oud fragrance that I have. And one of them that I have, it has like melon, pear. I think there may be like orange flower. Uh, there may be rose in it. And it comes off really soft, creamy, uh, musky, very wearable oud type of fragrance. Oh, this is so pleasant, yo. And this will be perfect perfect in the in the fall and in the winter this one is warm it's sort of sort of boozy it has that woodiness to it but it doesn't come off like a dry woody more like a more like a boozy sort of a uh, a wood it's really creamy really light very just very user friendly this is one that a lot of people can easily enjoy and this wouldn't offend really anybody there's a nice amount of sweetness that comes in It'll probably be attributed to some vanilla. I want to say possibly like a pear, peach, maybe even an orange flower. There's a citrus aspect to it, but it's not real loud. It's not super strong or anything. Uh, so I want to say there's other like fruits or aspects like that in here that's providing some more of that sweetness, some more of that, uh, that more of that playful aspect to this making this easily relatable, easily wearable by anybody. There's a little bit of a muskiness in there and it's just like this resinous behavior kind of comes up a little bit more uh, as it sits on the skin. Super enjoyable, yo. This is a really good oud fragrance. I'm saying it's a oud and I'm not even sure if it's oud in it, but it comes off like a really creamy, boozy, sweet, uh, and just slightly resinous oud fragrance really beautifully done i can see this really working well in close close encounters close quarters nice like an amber sort of a vibe to this as well i like that one i could imagine the longevity on this it's probably going to be incredible this stuff smells really strong very potent smell it's not overly so it just smells saturated more than it does uh annoying and cloying and overpowering or anything like that it doesn't smell obnoxious it just smells saturated it smells full that's the best way to describe it and the next one we'll call it blue really interested in seeing how this one turns out i love like the middle eastern style fragrances that do 
uh there are variations of like blue fragrances because it tend to hit a little bit heavier it tends to hit a little bit harder and some blue fragrances seem like they'd be really fleeing and just don't last long i'm always interested in seeing their interpretations of it and already from this i'm getting like a mm. i'm getting like a cross between blue de chanel and like a dior sauvage mm. it has that dior sauvage vibe but it doesn't have but it doesn't have that like really metallic and annoying vibe that dior sauvage tend to have this one is much more pleasant it has that sort of woody musky i don't know what that is that mysteriousness that blue that chanel has as well that's super friendly office friendly sort of a vibe from blue that chanel and that easy easy reach almost clubbing kind of a vibe that dior sauvage has pair those two together minus a lot of that metallic vibe that you would get from sauvage oh this is super nice yo this is super enjoyable uh those two fragrances paired together will do well in a lot of settings and the fact that this is an oil uh this is going to absolutely project and it's like it's not a, not a lot of oils can project off the skin really well like that some of them are going to sit a little closer this one is going to project easily this is one of those oils that you don't have to worry about that and you may not need a, a lot of this at all you put a little bit of this on the chest uh probably like right here in the middle of the chest the base of the neck and summertime as the temperature is heating up your body temperature heat up this thing is going to shout off your skin it's going to absolutely sing with this scent you're going to get that ambroxan you're going to get some woodiness you're going to get that musk you're going to get this uh this soapiness slightly metallic vibe just a little bit from that sauvage or that depiction of sauvage you're going to get just a very just proud proud pleasing oil fragrance uh with some great longevity and a lot of strength you don't need a lot of this at all that is i like the way i like the way that smell and blue de chanel and sauvage wasn't something that i always reached for but i'll reach for this right here this is really good you want to get like a nice like i said like a nice deep dark clean soapy woody it's going to be a little bit of that metallic vibe in there um and it's just like a darker, more slightly mysterious because you combining both of those fragrances together and you're getting kind of that depiction of both of those. There's like a just a tinge of sweetness in there, but it's not much at all. Really nice, versatile fragrance that can operate easily in the spring, operate easily in the summer and even in the fall, winter as well. It's strong enough to where it can cut through that weather. Looking at their website here, you can pick up your fragrances. These fragrances, like they range anywhere from uh, $25 to maybe $35, $36. On the website, it says McCulloch Blue is a modern master, is a blue modern masterpiece with notes of grapefruit, lemon, mint, pink pepper, Calabrian bergamot, ginger, nutmeg, jasmine, isoe super, incense, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood patchouli labdanum white musk as well as ambroxan and it's just it's just it's well done and this fragrance here abu alamin has notes of oud rose praline vanilla and honeyed amber website easy to navigate they got a lot of different inspirations on here great price point i'll drop the link in the description where you guys can check out these particular fragrances for yourself and check out the rest of their lineup and see what they have to offer price point ain't bad the strength on these is amazing very powerful fragrances a very full and saturated scents great customer service the shipping wasn't too bad at all come especially coming from canada shipping wasn't too bad at all customer service is very timely very friendly listen that is it for this video you guys like comment share subscribe and i will catch you guys soon peace